Welcome back everyone, we return once more to Poland-Lithuania and last episode we were devastated by the wrath of Germany, staved off only by AI incompetence. And before we begin, I mean, just look at these armies. They are in complete disarray from those events. We have barely enough man manpower to sustain the armies that are up there. All of them are just combined into each other and they barely managed to get over 15,000 men. And this one, same thing happening here. Many, many armies combined into being... Well, there's no men left. Poland Lithuania is devoid of men, so we kind of need to rebuild those armies. But before we begin, I got the tip, and this was a really good tip, to change the settings of the message here. And it was uh, Francesco Bosco, which um, sounds like an Italian name, and uh, that's pretty cool. I know Bosco is forest in Italian, or something like that. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. But here we have, when one of our land units is attacked by the enemy, the message type, before it was just uh, not currently displayed as a message icon, but now I'm changing it to is currently displayed as a pop-up and will pause the game. So when, you know, there's, you know, sneaky German armies kind of just march through Bohemia Moravia and attack poor, innocent, you know, heroic Poland-Lithuanian troops standing, you know, around here, we will be aware of it and be able to act on it instantly. Instantly. Oh, that would be pretty nice. And I'll see how that goes. And uh, the before I didn't do it because I didn't know that it was a difference between rebels and enemy. So, um, yeah. I just wish that you could have a separate here for when land battle is over against enemy. And then when a land battle is over against rebels. Then you could have, uh, you know, the rebels one not showing up because they tend to be quite annoying during rebellious times. So we will continue the time here. We also need to do some, actually before we continue the time, we need to do some economic reforms. We currently have the Partia Socialist, um, the Socialists in power, and uh, that was not very good Polish, I will admit. We will also, we will, with this Socialist Party, reduce tariffs to zero, and uh, then try to do something with the taxes here. We need to tax everyone so we can make up for the body deficits, so they will have to pay for it. We currently have absolutely no one working in our industry. Our industry is in shambles. Just look at Silesia, Poson, West Galicia, West Preussen, Polish, Lithuanian, Podilia, Lithuania, Brest. Everyone is, uh, well, not working. Masovia is the one that survived the best this horror, and they have uh, one of the least amount of unemployed. Everyone else, like Brest, for example, everyone is unemployed. The same thing, like Silesia, everyone is unemployed. There's so many unemployed people there. And the factories that were quite advanced in Silesia have now been reduced to nothing. But the problem we have now is that we have a hell of a lot of war exhaustion. And war exhaustion at 50 reduces factory throughput and RDO throughput of 50% minus. That's not very good. That's not very good at all. So we will open our factories. We will open our factories up. And I uh, don't like to subsidize factories, but they will probably go bankrupt considering they are not very efficient. So we will for now subsidize them. We have 1.19 million in our coffers. We can sustain our industry while it goes, goes back up. So we will do it for now and then we will remove it later. And with no tariffs, we should be able to remove it without too much issue. I hope anyway. So now well, what we will do is... Um, Disable the undermanned brigades and uh, then try to rebuild our forces. We will probably encounter some rebels that will pop up very soon. We have Egyptian nationalists that doesn't really concern us at the moment. We have armies in Egypt and they are quite good. Uh, Kasemba nationalists, yeah. And we have a bunch of liberation movements popping up everywhere. For now, most of them are fairly small, except for the Slovak and the Prussian liberation movements, which we will deal with sooner or later. Uh, I'd also like to thank you all for the suggestions of what to play in the Variances of Darkness mod. I will have to go through every single one of them and uh, try to figure out which one to play. I also don't know when I will have, be able to play that mod. I've been uh, wanting to for quite a long time now. Uh, but just with these three series that I'm running right now, I have had difficulties finding time to record lately. I've been swamped with work and whenever I have a free day off, it's like, yeah, now I'm going to record everything. And then my boss calls me and is like, do you want to work more? I was like, oh, sure, I need the money. Uh, I think they, I am off today and I think my boss, my boss tried to call me this morning, but I was asleep, thankfully, so I missed that part. 
Otherwise I would probably not be able to record today either, which is terrible. I will have to just be able to say no in the future. But yeah, having these free series and recording everything has become uh, a, a bit difficult, so... The Variants of Darkness, I will do it as soon as I have a slot available. Free series at, at the same time sounds about reasonable. It sounds about what I can handle most of the days. So yeah, uh, as soon as possible I will start at Adventures of Darkness playthrough. Probably a small one to begin with. I've been looking at, for example, Vinland, and uh, they have a pretty difficult start. So maybe do a small playthrough of just the beginning of it and try to figure it out. Could be pretty fun. So we'll see what comes up. Should be pretty, pretty good one way or another. There's also um, another smaller mod called American Nations that I've been looking at. So maybe something in there too. We'll see. For now, the economy is doing brilliant. Just brilliant. Our administration spending is at a decent level. Our military spending is maxed out. The socialist apparently doesn't like the military, so we will have to reduce that. We're also spending less on the land itself, or land units themselves, so that's a pretty decent bet. We could probably increase our land spending for now, since our economy is doing so well at the moment. Romania offers us an alliance that is... Uh, Acceptable, for now. Just don't drag us into another war, please. We will... Well, we won't hesitate to say no, if uh, need be. Commerce, we could go scientific management. We could also go also for some associationism, for those extra nice reinforcement and regiment experience upon being born, or uh, recruited. And more liberal... Sure, I want more liberals. Most of the time I really like to have laissez-faire, as the economic policy, due to not having to deal with it most of the time. It's just um, provide them with the in resources, have the re regions you need in order to supply them, and uh, then they can handle themselves. Capitalists can handle themselves, and that's fine. Fine in this game. It's uh, less hassle, less of hassle. Lockout. Hey, that's unconstitutional. Well, maybe it is. But do we want all the craftsmen and laborers to become more socialist? Um, let's go with um, unconstitutional. I don't care what the, what the rich people do, they are fewer. They don't have as much power in, the, in my country. Uh, we, we should probably stave off one or two of these revolts by pushing through some reform. Polish, Lithuanian, communists are pretty po popular. So what could be a decent thing? Only 0.12% of the people wants this, only 0.13, uh, 0 0.10, 0 0.07, 0 0.15, 0 0.11. No one wants any of these reforms, so what do the Polish Lithuanian communists want then? Well, I will probably go for... Let's go for incarceration! Incarceration. It's a cheap one and the communists are being... Well, we are removing their teeth. The reactionaries seem to be... Ah, uh, they're losing a bit of power. Yeah, now they're being hit by two, the realization. That's good. Dismantle them all. And now when we have liberated most of these provinces from enemy holdings, we could probably try to reform some of these armies. Well, one of them done. Another reason is because they are very, very cheap. They don't cost much to, or much time to research by now, because we have been uh, neglecting it so much. Yeah, holy shit, this is, um, this will be a hassle to deal with, these armies. But we will probably be able to manage to carve out something decent from all of this. Hopefully. Okay, we start with this one. We'll start with this little fella. Let's uh, create a decent army from you. This one seems decent. That's five, and then we will have the infantry, that is reasonable, and uh, add that here. The rest of these troops, this one will have the Hussars, and the rest will just kind of be his metal. There we go. Funnily enough, this uh, currently only makes up 13,000 men. And then we will do the same here. We will have one Hussar, and then we will grab the artillery, which have people to sustain it. And then we will grab one of these engineers. And uh, some of these infantry that have people in them. Let's see. Uh, well, the ones that can sustain themselves. 
four, five, six. This uh, six, yes, that should be decent enough. Yep, S1 will be good. Not uh, much to look at at the moment, but they will they will grow. They will grow. Take my word for it. This one will be the Hussar and uh, one of the Engineer. We will grab the remaining infant artillery, which seems reasonable. And then uh, some industry, or like infantry. If you're hearing some background noise of some sort, then I apologize. It's uh, some sort of machine that's working outside for some reason. They tend to time it pretty badly for me then. Like, yeah, uh, oh, now I have time to record. Let's uh, do some noise outside. I'm not a fan. But what can I do? There we go. And send it over here. That should be decent for this one. Or is five artillery too much? I don't remember. We'll see. You can move to pluck. And now we probably have a bunch of armies to... Yeah. Oh, that's Africa. Not that many, actually, in Europe itself. It's um, devastating, actually. We need to make some armies in Africa, I assume, to kind of make up for it. So we can do that too. We can build some armies in, in Africa in the meanwhile. What was the African composition? It was three artillery, five infantry, one engineer, one hussar. We might as well just bring a hussar up just for the sake of keeping this one up to date. Let's see on the other ones. This one needs an artillery, so we will get an artillery for it. Let's see artillery. There we go. And um, these ones? Well, these ones are fine. And everything else should be fine too, which is good. Nothing to be seen over here. We could take a look around the world too. That sounds like pretty fun. What has happened in the world? Well, we have the Dominican Republic. Nothing new there. We have the British Empire, which has a Pacific Coast suddenly. Mexico, which is still making their Utah, New Mexico incursion in United States soil, which makes it look awful. The... Native Confederation is still alive and well, which is nice to see. And France, surprisingly, has taken the Northern Sakhalin Islands. So I'm not sure how Japan will respond to that. They're also taking Korea, which I'm not sure how mm, Japan will respond to that. It's a bit of a strange acquisition from, from France, honestly. Like, from where did it come, come from? Where are the base? Where, where did it operate from? Probably from the Solomon Islands or something like that. Damn French. Always finding their way around the world. Beyond that, nothing much has really happened. We are distinctly lacking allies in mainland Europe. France, for some reason, absolutely dis despises us. North German Federation do as well. I mean, they de did declare war on us just recently. And we will need to be prepared for them doing it again. And so well prepared we will be that in these border regions, we need really need to make some forts. We'll make some forts happen, so it will take longer for the German army to siege them, giving us more room and time to respond. That will be very helpful and important. Other than that, time can just flow by. We have some ships here that are ready. I don't know why I haven't made a gathering point for them. But I will do it anyway. Here we go. They will gather in Swiss. Uh, minus one percent. British Union over here. And uh, Union Peloponnese. Almost sounds like a country. Or a party of some sort. The Peloponnese Union of parties. What are these armies? Oh, these are just um, strange versions. They, they are slowly recovering. Slowly. Very, very slowly. This one needs another artillery. Honestly. So... I think we will just disband this entire unit due to it being so really strange. In any of oh, these lacking Hussar, no they're not. So we have one Hussar done already. We need to have uh, three more infantry for this one and we need to have one more artillery for this one. So we can uh, get that from the European area so we will have um, we will have North German cannon fodder and a Polish cannon. Uh, experimental psychology. Let's get that one too, and then we can proceed to maybe go, go for realism, which doesn't really make much sense at this point. Probably get something that is a bit more important. Plus, 
Wait, when does the next line of things open up? This is 1880. Oh, so this one is already available. 1900? 1900. Okay, so we have plenty of time to research everything else. Our military technology is amazingly good. Let's see on North German Federation military technology is also really, really good. Prussian military technology, really, really good. Uh, Russian is... Could be better. Yeah, definitely could be better. They are unfortunately allied with Austria and the Netherlands. Austria, however, is uh, a shadow of his former self due to our intervention. We also need to deal with the Galicia Lodomeria problem. We do have a quiet core and restore order. We just need to remove them from sphere and then declare war on them. Unfortunately, they have managed to get an alliance with the dirty Romanians. That's very cruel, really, to the Romanians. But they are practicing slavery. Or have they abolished it now? I don't see any slavery anymore. <sighs> they have abolished slavery. Good job, Romania. Good job. I applaud you. Well, not li literally, because that would ruin the sound recording. But I applaud you. In my mind. Another bunch of Polish-Lithuanian communists. Well, we will have rehabilitation. There we go. Rehabilitation. Yeah. Back down, communists. You don't like that. So we have two issues. The war exhaustion is not a good thing. It drives up our consciousness, I believe. Uh, but the infamy is definitely driving up our consciousness and our militancy. So we need to... Well... We need to definitely get down our monthly infamy change. Wait, I mean our infamy overall. Our monthly infamy change we can't do really much about unless we mod the game. Let's see here. That's free. That is exactly what we needed in Plock. There we go. So it's almost ready. One army is almost ready. So you can go to Danzig and be happy. This one is an artillery and that one will go over here. Excellent. So this one is actually done. And we had some guys in Africa being assembled. They are over here. We have one Hussar. Artillery will go over here. And Hussar, where are you? There you go. We'll go over here. And, wait. What has happened here? They're missing one Hussar. And they're missing one infantry all of a sudden. Did I make that infantry or am I just missing something? I missed something. Well, let's make one in Africa. And from the Bakongo people in Kinshasa will be recruited and sent over to Ethiopia. It's best if they don't come from the area they're supposed to be vigilant over. Jacobin rebels. Yeah, they will be defeated handily by the Galicia Lodomerian army. I love to say Lodomeria. Something. I Probably, probably don't say it correctly, as with all or everything, but it sounds pretty cool. I like it. Our industry is uh, growing, and hopefully our subsidies... Uh, not too many subsidies, not too much, honestly. Our economy would do much worse, well, at times. Everything is just changing, right? Like a second ago was minus 2000, probably because we were expanding our industry base. Okay, experimental psychology is done. We could go for social science. We could go for realism. We could go for a lot of things. But I think we will go for scientific management and get up the factory output efficiency and stuff like that to further help our industry to withstand or stand on, well, against the global market. The British Empire is declaring war on basically in the uh, United States of America. So, do we want to be part of this war? Well, we kind of want to help the British. That we want to do. But the British Empire is completely useless for us. Plus, it would take longer for us to get back down our war exhaustion. So, I'm sorry, British Empire. We will disappoint you. Men for the colonies. We could get population growth in Ostpreußen or in Kasai. We will go for the Kasai one. We don't want more Germans. We don't want... Oh, actually, Allenstein. A sizable portion of Polish people. Are these uh, Kasubians or whatever their name was? The ones that are... Can I see them? Ah, no, I can't. 
can't find any information on them. 3% Lithuanian here. A lot of Lithuanians. But what are the missing people here? Is it Slovak? Yeah, Slovak apparently. What, what are they doing here? What are the Slovakians doing here? Where was that other people? It must have been here, right? Vend, yeah, Vend. There they are. The Vendish people. But they are slowly being assimilated into Polish. So I feel bad for the Vends. There are only 1800 left here. Even more policies. We currently have a sizable Polish-Lithuanian communistic rev revolution growing. So how to deal with that? We could go for low subsidies for unemployment. That could be good. Let's go for it. Everyone would love that. Alliance offer from Sicily. Sicily, Sicily, Sicily. Do you have any enemies, Sicily? You're allied with Italy, or Kingdom of Italy, and you have a beef here with Naples, who in turn are protected by the British Union, who in turn are our allies. Sure. What's the worst that can happen? And they have the People's Republic of Rome. Yes, the People's Republic of Rome has been established. Wonderful. Proletarian dictatorship. The People's States failed to deal with the people. And now the Papal States have been overthrown. People's Republic of Rome. Wonderful. Yes, completely wonderful. Alright, so these armies have now recovered mostly. They are almost completely done. None of them are undermanned or low-staffed or anything like that. We have one whose sword is ready for a new home, so let's build a new home for it. We have uh, North, German Feder uh, North German infantry, six of them we need. There we go. We have artillery, Polish uh, artillery, which we will need five of, and then an engineer. And then Hussar, who will be Lithuanian. We will trust the North Germans to hold our front line. They will be helpful when the North German Federation attacks us. Because then, when they face off in battle, the North German infantry, from North German Federation that is, will have to shoot their own countrymen. And they will hesitate. Meanwhile, our artillery won't give a shit, it will just blast the enemy apart. So, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Sounds like a good plan. Also make uh, portraits on our flags of Otto von Bismarck and everyone will be utterly confused. That's how we win. Confusion. Where is that infantry guy? He's way over here. There we go. All the way down to Ethiopia with you. And then we can make a new one. So we will make an army here in uh, Africa, which will be a uh, one, two, three, four, five. And a uh, one, a two, a three. And a one, and a two. I mean a one. There. So we'll have one more army there, which is good. Everything is looking brilliant. Everyone will gather in Warsaw, and that was really quick. Could barely even see what it was about, that suggestion. And speed up the time. I think we have recovered very nicely from the war. It's only been like a year or two since the war, and now apparently they're having some issues against Jacobin rebels. This could be a decent opportunity to dissolve the alliance. The only thing is... Oh, we don't get a truce with them. Wonderful. Wonderful. So it's not like in EU4 when you suddenly get a truce with someone for breaking the alliance. Tunis. Requesting that you come to the aid in the acquisition of Union Tunis against the British Union. Union Algeria. Are we going to be against the greatest country in the world? That is also our ally? No. Fuck no. I'm sorry Tunis. But we won't help you. That's just not going to happen. What we need to do is acquire some Ottoman Empire. They are allied with Denmark, Norway, the Netherlands and Romania. But if we took like for example Cyrenaica, Fesan and Tripolitania, that would be pretty nice but we still need to get down our infamy in order to do that. Another thing we need to prepare for is the increased part of uh, what, what am I going to say? We will soon have the Scramble for Africa Phase 2. Yeah, so we need to prepare for that. We will expand our naval bases in a last-ditch effort to get a bit more points. 
we'll also probably build more ships, which we can do. We can build some monitors. I would like to make... No, not cruisers. Monitors. I, I like monitors more. Or do I like them more? I mean, ironclad, they're faster and everything, but we need to... We need to unlock them. How, when do we unlock them? Uh, do, 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 do. Navy. Ironclads. Why can't we make them then? Allows construction of ironclad. Alright. So why can't we make ironclad? Requires naval port with level 3 or greater. As does the monitor. So that should be fine. But why can't we do it? That's the big question. Okay, let's do some monitors then. Let's make five to start with. And why have we failed to keep Danzig and stuff like that up to up to date? We have three ports here. Another... Oh, come on, Polish Lithuanian communists. Stop being so adamant in, in doing things. We will... We will, you know, kind of illegalize child labor. Maybe? No? Extended subsidies, perhaps? Extended subsidies it is. Extended subsidies. So now we're paying quite a bit, for actually, for our unemployed. In Silesia, most of the unemployed are in, so let's upgrade our factories. In Silesia, there are most of them. So we can uh, upgrade them there and uh, upgrade them everywhere. That's good. We're doing good. Galicia Lodomeria wants an alliance. No, we did that on purpose, you fools. Think of the economy, fools. There we go. And we had... Wait, did I actually make... Don't tell me I was actually making a Lithuanian Hussar. We already had a Hussar. That was the entire point of making that army. Well, management strat strategy, historical theory. We can go with now. So we have one more army done, which will be in Radom. We will have the 6th army, who will be stationed here. And sure, this will be a quick war. A quick war, I will... Uh, well, hope it is, anyway. Military access from France. France, what are you doing? Then this will to Caliphate. Oh, so you need it for Polish, Lithuanian, Africa. That is so beautiful, it stretches from the Atlantic coast to the Mediterranean, to the Pacific coast, or, well, Red Sea coast. So it's a, yeah, it's a beautiful thing. The most beautiful thing that has ever been seen. They're fighting against the Sokoto. Sokoto Caliphate. Tsarist Africa. Yeah. Things are going to bad over there. Persian Empire wants an alliance. Why, I wonder? Is it because you want to have revenge on, on uh, the Ottoman Empire and Russian Empire? Could it be that? Is that the reason why? After all, you do have some things left, like Armenia and North Caucasia. And you're an uncivilized person as well, so you probably will get attacked soon. No, no alliances. No alliance. All right. I think it is about high time. No one else is doing anything here. So remove them from our sphere and then declare war on them as soon as we are able to. And I think that will conclude this episode. When we have taken Galicia Lodomeria. There we go. go. Declare war. Restore order. Annex Galicia Lodomeria. There we go. And probably they will have the help from Romania. If Romania is stupid or crazy or both. Uh, doesn't seem like they actually did have the help from Romania. Romania cleverly stayed out of it. And that battle was very successful. The Galician Lodomerian army is barely existing anymore. So we can swiftly annex here. Our fort. There we go. We got it. This is how it looks now. King, we have been attacked in Lvov. Hostile forces from Galicia Lodomeria have engaged us with blah 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 versus blah blah blah. I like that screen actually. I haven't actually I haven't seen it really in my entire career of this game. They are trying to, they are really trying to mobilize, hence the massive amounts of units they suddenly get from out of nowhere. 
There we go, that seems like a good distribution. And we have a new election here. So I think we will uh, not push through another reform. We'll wait for it. Seems that back Latvia. No, wait, Latvia? Is that part of us? No, it's not. Oh, interesting. So there's a crisis brewing. The Russian Empire versus North German Federation. And none of the other ones are available. So no great powers will actually bother because everyone else is at war, such as us. So there will be, uh, maybe there will be a war between North German Federation and the Russian Empire, which I will definitely support. Galicia Lodomeria is finally part of our country now. And we can uh, do, oh, we got an event for the Belarusian lands. Podilia and Minsk. Ah, uh, yeah. I will definitely go for that. Holy shit, now we will have... Ah, we have claims to Podilia and Minsk. We would like to have Kiev too, if that's possible. Maybe we'll have an event for that after, maybe? Maybe it will be. Maybe we will be. We'll see. But now we have new lands to take from the Russian Empire. And should they end up in a war, we could just give access through our lands for North German Federation. And then, after that war, or in during that war even, we could declare war on the Russian Empire ourselves and take those areas by force. That is, if our war exhaustion and stuff like that would be down by then. But we'll see what happens then. Anyway, thank you for returning once more. I'm very thankful for all the support and all the interest you've shown in this playthrough. It's been really great so far, at least from my point of view. Hopefully from your point of view as well. So hope to see you next time. Hope you've enjoyed, and I hope a great deal more. See you later.